good morning everyone my name is crystal um it is um as you know the days go so fast now as i get older it's thursday uh, alexa what date is it today good morning crystal today is thursday the 28th of december alexa what's the time please the time is 8.41 a.m. Right, guys. So, I, you know, I'm a normal woman. I go to bed, what, between half past 10 and 12 lately. Um, so, basically, last night I went to bed, I laid down, and my phone started going off at 10 to 3 in the morning. 10 to 3 in the morning I'd lost the phone I'd put the phone down somewhere I couldn't find it so I just I, I just went back to to sleep um, someone had lent, sent me a link to a YouTube video of a, a bald coloured gentleman talking about are you gay I'm just going to show you to show you what I was sent at 10 to 3 um, last night. Ten to three in the morning, mate. What bringing the studio this morning? One of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for good morning. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender yes, and you're a gay am. rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? Now, we're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? You're having a girlfriend. Yes. We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Pepe Julian Onzima? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for good morning. morning Why are you I describe you now? We're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? You're having a girlfriend, yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh... <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. So what are My you doing this lady? Right guys, I got sent that at 10 to 3 in the morning. Last night, 10 to 3 in the morning. I got up out of bed and I just wandered about for a bit looking for my phone. I couldn't find it, so I went back down to bed. So it's a baldish coloured man talking to a coloured transgender male asking him personal questions like you know um, I'm glad I didn't watch that at 10 to 3 in the morning because that probably would have upset me this morning I can see the funny side of it it's been sent to me as a joke someone found that funny So I've got up and I got my other phone to ring my other phone, if you know what I mean, because I couldn't find it. So I wanted to find out who texted me at 10 to 3 in the morning, you say. Um, last night, um, I walked Max like I normally do in the evening. There was a lot of people about. I wasn't feeling depressed. No, I wasn't. Christmas, people have families round, especially Boxing Day. I was on my own, but I'd spent some time with my son on Christmas Day, so I wasn't depressed at all. You get a bit, like, stir-crazy in your flat on your own, you know, sometimes, and you get annoyed and cross and a bit, I don't know, agitated, like you want to go somewhere, do something, but you're on your own. Um, I took Max out last night 
and I've just been taking him for a walk around the block because it's been very windy and it's been raining so there was a lot of people about last night and I kept having to dodge people because Max has been in a mood he keeps barking at people so I've been keeping him away from people at the moment um so I, I just walked around um the block there was people everywhere up and down the path um I was grateful to see people a lot of the time I go outside and there's nobody there and it's deserted at night and it can feel quite scary um I hadn't gone in the co-op yesterday um I was dealing with like a fraud on my bank account so I was ringing up places and I sort of had a bit of a headache and I was feeling a bit stressed out from ringing people that just were useless and not helping me you know why couldn't Marks and Spencers tell me who had used my card and actually tell me what they'd used on my card to pay for they weren't very helpful and why did the woman want want my email address so I, I have to now keep going down my email address and seeing if there's anything there who are these people they're in charge of my bank account because it was the bank account guy that told me to ring Marks and Spencers who were absolutely useless and he told me to ring Tesco's who are absolutely useless I've had to freeze the card myself and I've actually I've got to try and get the 40 pounds back but to do that, I've got to cancel my card and wait for a new card to come. And remember, if I cancel my card over the New Year period, I'm not going to get... It's, it, it's New Year's Day. Alexa, when is New Year's Day? In England, the bank holiday for New Year's Day will be next Monday, the 1st of January. So... New Year's Day is on a Sunday, so Monday is a bank holiday, so I won't get a, 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 a new bank card, so I'm not going to cancel it over the Christmas period, I shall wait till next week, and it's not going to get sorted out, I won't get that money refunded over the New Year period, will I? No. It's annoying, it's frustrating, and to think that it could be somebody I know, it could be that has just tried to defraud my bank account and they tried to take £50 out, a further £50, but they obviously, I'd obviously made restrictions on my card so they couldn't do that. Um... It's got to be someone that knows me, it's got to be. Um, fortunately for me, I think, and I think ahead. So I've obviously won £20 on a scratch card. I have a home delivery coming this week. And I took £20 out of my bank account as well. So I've got that to tide me over till I next get paid. Right? But I shouldn't have to do that. If that person had come to me and said, you know, I'm a little bit short. Um, can you help me with some money? I probably wouldn't have given them all of that. But I would have given them something. Why do you need to steal? It's obviously somebody I know. I don't give out my bank card to, to, to strangers. I don't know anybody down. I don't speak to neighbours. I don't know anybody, really. It's got to be somebody that knows me. Um, so, yeah, this... Um, this gay video I was sent, gay video, but going on to the subject of Sam Smith, um, I've never stopped liking Sam Smith's music, he's got a beautiful voice, right, it's lovely, 
I've never stopped liking his music just because um, people find out that somebody's gay you don't stop liking them so Sam Smith is gay he's open about it right he's open about it he wants to be himself it, it, you know you only live once right so leave the guy alone I will never stop liking Sam Smith's music he's got a lovely voice just because someone's gay you don't turn around and say oh I don't like them anymore um, I was watching TikTok last night and I found out that Clint Eastwood had died at the age of 93 on the way to hospital and you know I watched Dirty Harry films uh, I watched Clint Eastwood the good the bad and the ugly when I was a kid right I, I, I grew up with Clint Eastwood films and any which way but loose with the orangutan he used to go around in his car with his orangutan you know his, his monkey his gorilla wherever he was running around with I, my dad used to walk, watch Clint Eastwood films and then us kids would be sat there watching it as well I grew up with Clint Eastwood it's upsetting that he's died he was 93 though that's a good old old innings isn't it 93 um just happened to come across a sam smith uh, video where he was talking about how he was he was harassed in the streets shouted uh, at and spat at people spit at sam smith and he's a celebrity they spit at him in public he said openly i've been spat at Spat at in public. What are people becoming in this world? What are we becoming when we're spitting at people in the street? By the way, there were four police outside last night. Four policemen. One of them went into the co-op. Three went towards the Rochester railway station. Max barked at them. Max barked at them. Uh, so four policemen were outside yesterday. Just wandering about in their yellow uh, jackets. Came home and the noise next door was unbearable. The noise next door was unbearable. I'd gone around the fields and um, saw the police. Wasn't angry. Load of noise next door. Do you know what I did? Put the TV up loud and I put my the, the volume on my phone up loud. It makes me have pain in the face. But I refused to get across and stoop to the bully's level. I am not gay. I'm a white woman and just some, because someone doesn't have in quotes intercourse or sex of, by their own choice, it doesn't mean they're gay or a trans person. I have had trouble with men, I've suffered domestic violence, I was assaulted on the Rochester Riverside field by an elderly gentleman who should have known better. And I choose to not go with anybody because I've been sexually abused and assaulted. Thank you very much. So ha ha ha, very funny. Grow up, get a life and stop bullying people. See, it's sexually, se sexual bullying. Trying to get me to go with any Tom, Dick or Harry by banding it around that I'm gay or a trans person. And I'm not. I'm a single white female and I'm heterosexual and I'm not bored either. 
this is my own hair so guys when you get famous and you get so successful right celebrities like sam smith get spat at spat at and humiliated and yelled at in public for being themselves. Why I'm getting it, I haven't a clue because I'm, I'm just a single white woman. Just because you like Sam Smith, which I do, and I'm not going to stop liking him because I liked him from the start, way back for his first single. A lot of gay performers have heterosexual followers. What's wrong with that? Alexa, good morning. Good morning. The late great Stan Lee was born on this day in 1922, with Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Thor among the many characters in his catalogue of comic book co-creations. Excelsior. Alexa. When did Clint Eastwood die? As far as I know, Clint Eastwood is alive. He was born on the 31st of May 1930 and is 93 years old. Well, I don't know what happened there, but on TikTok it says that Clint Eastwood has died, so I'm not sure. Alexa, who is Clint Eastwood? Alexa, who is Clint Eastwood? Clinton Eastwood Jr. is an American actor and film director. Well, I'm not sure whether Clint Eastwood is dead or alive, to be fair. I just went into TikTok and it said that Clint Eastwood had passed away, so I don't know on the way to hospital, I don't know. Um, Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 11 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 12 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Alexa, uh, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American actor, screenwriter, director and producer Denzel Washington, English actress Maggie Smith, British American actress Sienna Miller, American singer, songwriter, producer, actor and philanthropist John Legend and Finnish American software engineer and hacker Linus Torvalds. The world is a depressing place at the moment. They've even got a uh, dead poor on TikTok who's likely to die this year. I'm not sure. You get a lot of that, that people say that someone's died and they, they're, they're alive. He was born on May the 31st, 1930, Clint Eastwood. Um, So there's nothing on there about it, but he's 93. So there's a dead poor on TikTok. And one of them is Elton John. They're betting on who's going to die this year. And one of them is Elton John. You know, the elderly musicians. Um, obviously Mick Jagger as well. And people like that. It's just That's it. That's the way people are. Betting on death. Celebrity deaths. Um, today I'm just keeping myself to myself and I'm, you know, not being sexually bullied into doing something um, I don't want to do. I'm not bald, this isn't a wig, you can come and try and pull it off my hair. Um, they're taking the piss out of my mother and why it's coming to me I haven't got a clue.
they're trying to make out to I, I don't know what they're trying to make out but I'm not gay and I'm not bald so they can keep carrying on carrying on they're protecting somebody else and obviously they don't care about me so thank you very much making out I'm somebody else to protect them while they sit on their big fat bottom all day long moaning right we will sort this fraud out on my bank account but next week um i have reported the rochester subway for for um serving cold food which has made me feel very very sick the food tasted disgusting i've got a nasty aftertaste in my mouth after eating it and you know i've gone through the reviews on online and you shouldn't be serving cold food and it should taste nice not horrible so someone needs to look at it or shut it down i'm going to get on with my day leave me alone my sexuality is none of people's business see you later